The new year will likely bring significant medical developments that could impact our health. This follows a year that brought headlines like the emergence of Zika, the growing opioid epidemic, the skyrocketing cost of the EpiPen, and the push to legalize marijuana. 2017 could see new advances in high-tech medicine and the comeback of some older remedies. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Good morning. Morning, Charlie. Uh, you are specifically excited, and, and so am I, uh, about some new developments in terms of DNA, that you can do things even before birth and prevent disease. There's no question about it. You know, we saw the rise this year over and over again of the ability to use an enzyme called CRISPR to change one letter of the three billion letters of the DNA code. So diseases like sickle cell anemia, we may be able to actually change before the child is born. Or an adult, imagine taking the T cells, which is where HIV infects, and changing them so HIV can't get in. This is going to be a major advance going forward. How soon could patients actually receive this treatment? Well, clinical trials are going to be ongoing this year, so we're going to see lots of announcements about it. The first CRISPR food products are actually on the shelves. There are mushrooms out there. So this is a technology that is coming into prime time. Downsides and dangers, David? <laughs> There's no question about it. It's a slippery slope, right? You can change the sickle cell gene, but also you may want to make a baby taller, faster, smarter. So the potential for taking advantage of it is clearly there. What are the possibilities of, of connecting our bodies to the Internet? Well, the Internet of Things, we all see it, right? Our toaster, our refrigerator can be connected. But over and over, we're seeing more devices that people are wearing. And, you know, the CES show in Las Vegas is this week. We're going to see more of them announced. But it really is the quantified self. We can now measure our steps, our heart rate, our blood pressure all the time. More is going to come out. We're going to start to measure things like insulin, uh, glucose, your sugar levels and all through the skin. And so this is a year we're going to see an explosion of devices to learn about ourselves. What, what about the hacking of medical devices? Yeah. It's a major issue. I mean, so the FDA yesterday announced uh, guidelines to prevent the hacking. But clearly, the ability to hack is there, and we all have to be aware of it. And companies really have to step up and build in the, the safety precautions so it doesn't happen. You also said 2017, big year for the use of illegal drugs in mainstream medicine. This is a good thing? This is a bad thing? What are you, what are you concerned about, if anything? Well, you know, it's interesting. It's not like all of a sudden is happening. But over the last decade, we've started to, the science community has started to use things like MDMA to treat post-traumatic stress disorder. And the data are, it's working. Mm -hmm. And so these drugs that have been used for recreation are now finding medicinal purposes. And so it's exciting that there are new weapons in our mm -hmm. armamentarium to fight disease. And it turns out that these happen to be recreational drugs. Do we need to change the way we approve drugs in this country, make that process more efficient and, and faster? Well, we are the fastest regulatory agency in the world, the U.S. FDA. And so this is the place where things get done. That being said, every system can be improved. So there are areas where I think the FDA needs to be pushed a little bit. You know, when the HIV was happening in the 80s, the HIV lobby poured blood on the steps of the FDA, and things happened quicker and more expeditious. We don't need to go to those extremes, but I do think we need to revamp some of the things that we're doing. Going forward, can I ask you, do you think climate change will have an effect on our health? Well, we're seeing it, right? This is the hottest year on record. And when that happens, um, the bacteria change, the viruses change, you know, the weather changes. So the elderly with temperature, crops change as the weather change. And the Zikas of the world, which are mosquitoes, change where they are. And so climate change is going to affect our health. All right. Got it. Dr. David Agus. Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. And happy he Early Birthday, Charlie. Thank you, yeah. David.